who would remember this story? <laughs> so the Beetlejuice system, it's one star, you drop out of warp... Oh, there. We're getting, um... If you look up ahead, we are getting gravity distortion, gravity lensing off of the black hole. At 4,000 light seconds, that's a fairly significant sized black hole. Here you can see it, you can see it kind of twisting and moving as I approach. But the Betelgeuse system, you drop out of warp, um, I think around five or six thousand light seconds away from the star. And there's only one planet in the system, and it's pretty much composed of burnt iron and charcoal. System map. Accessing system map. They're gonna give me the mass on this sucker. Uh, twenty-one point three solar masses, point zero 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 one solar radii. Yes, for some reason, I've felt the need to get closer to this thing. Get a better background. You can see the way the... The local stars are being, the lights being twisted and lensed by the gravity. Say hello to the physical manifestation of entropy. Slightly. I still... Okay, I'm getting a scan off of it at three light seconds. close could we get before things screw? I've not. I really should get around to seeing that. Okay, we're starting to... We are... Okay. 7,700 kilometers from the black hole. Seven thousand? Six thousand. Five thousand. There is good. Four thousand kilometers. Twenty-five 
500. There's the singularity. Starting to get distortion around the cockpit as well as directly in front of me. 1300 kilometers. Six hundred kilometers. Dropping out of warp and holding steady at four hundred eighty three kilometers from the black hole. And I don't think I want to get any closer. He says as he applies throttle. Okay, we're 34,000 light seconds away from the other... Wow. Okay. But, it being a great big B-class star... I can get a scan off of it at this range. Okay, well, that's about as close to a black hole as I ever want to be. And we've got everything in this system explored. So let's see if my fuzzy theory actually works, holds out. And for the latecomers, the fuzzy theory is that, uh, take the, uh, the prototypical system that I usually went to for this, uh, HIP 63835. This is a very crowded system, a lot of stuff in it. Three black holes in a binary binary system. So. Well, actually, here's the system map of 63835 for anybody that wants to see it. Once the system map gets loaded. It's a very complicated system. It, there we go. So we got 63835A. It's big sucker. B, the black hole. C, the black hole. And D, the black hole. And a whole bunch of, well, here you've got a Class A star acting as a planet. Um, and its companion moon, which is actually a planet, which has iron magma. Yeah, which you can land on, actually. No atmosphere. Anyway, that system, if you were to go into the stellar cartographics and go into, like, I don't know, government type. All you need to do is turn off the stars. But as you can see, it's fuzzy. There is a little fuzzy cloud right around there. So what I did was... Oh, well, that wasn't 63835, but the same thing remains. I went to a system and it had a fuzzy cloud around it. I just scrolled back out of the galaxy and started looking for looking for those fuzzy parts. Here's 63835 right here. 
That's a little fuzzy, you know, a little fuzzy cloud around it. And here was a nebula that I found. The, well, I didn't find it, but I see 4604. And continuing on. I found a bunch of fuzzy areas here. This one looks to be the brightest one, so we're going to see what happens when I... Oh yeah, we're still there. Found the black hole. Not dead. So now, we're going to see what happens when we go to hyperspace this close to a black hole. Turns out nothing happens when we're not dead. On the one hand, hooray! On the other hand, you know, it would have been an interesting way to go.